Hi everyone, I am Kimberly Page, uh, Chief Marketing Officer at BET, and I am tuned into Baller Alert. Kimberly, this is big. We're back outside. Radio Room has not been here for two years. Yes. What does this mean that all these beautiful black people, publications, artists are here talking to each other, networking, and getting these interviews? Yes. So, one, it is so great to have everyone back. So let's just start there. But, you know, you guys are the pulse of culture. And so it means a lot that the response was so overwhelmingly positive uh, to come back and to, you know, it used to be the radio room, now it's the total media hub. Um, and so it's big, you know, and I, I'm so appreciative because, again, you guys are, are, are our connection back to the audience and to the fans. And so to be able to see all of this activity happening here, uh, it really is, it really is special. We're so excited. You know, like you said, it was the radio room and now it's the media hub. So now publications like us get to be here and enjoy this, girl. We're excited. Whose idea was that? Thank you. Actually, you know, it was so funny. Um, what a, my, my right hand, Tyel Hayes, um, for the marketing team, you know, I'm always saying bigger, bigger, bigger. Like, ah, it's a good idea, but what's next? Let's yeah. take it to the next level. So when we think about culture's biggest night, I said, guys, well, the marketing has to get bigger, bigger, bigger every year as well. And so, you know, we started kind of brainstorming around what could this look like with the first year being back. And so, and really opened up the invitation to more platforms. And so it's, it's huge, it's great. Fabulous idea. <laughs> <laughs> really happy about it, super, we're really enjoying this in general, but when it comes to being outside, we were in COVID for two and a half years, we learned a lot about ourselves, we're steadily evolving. Is there something that you learned about yourself in particular during that time? Yeah, you know, I learned the power of just being still. You know, I think we, you know, are often always talking about the grind, the hustle, the grind, the hustle, and I think that's great. Um, but there's another part of that narrative, right? And that is the, the importance of self-care, being still, and it's okay to be quiet. And so I, you know, after, you know, constantly being on planes every other day, you know, so I learned a lot that I actually enjoy uh, moments of stillness, uh, moments to be alone, solitude, like that's powerful. So that was a huge unlock for me um, during COVID. So, and I'm not going back. No, I'm so serious. I'm not going back because I think now that is how I show up and that is what I personally need personally and professionally. And so, yeah, I'm a I'm a work smart person that 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 work hard. It's, it's cute on paper. <laughs> I'm serious. It's cute on paper. But no, you got to no, mm -mm. you got to work smart, not work hard, work smart. Set a reality and that is not the life you want to live proactive. That's what I'm talking about. That's what we're doing in 2022. We're being proactive. Do that. All day. I love it. I love it. As far as mental health, you said something about, you know, maintaining your a, a clean space. What is something you've been doing to maintain your mental health and a good peace of mind? Totally. So um, walk. I mean, I started I used to run, but I started taking long walks um, during the pandemic. So that's like kind of my own kind of personal time to kind of reflect and think, you know, organize my day yeah. you know all of those things and so started walking I'm, I'm an avid reader but you know again just started getting back into reading because again I a lot of things that I know I personally enjoy just never quite found the time right. uh, but those are a lot of things that I do you know so you look good you look vibrant you look like you're getting some some rest you're not working hard <laughs> you're working smart that's what I'm talking about Lastly, you know, we appreciate being here. What are you looking forward to most with this entire beautiful weekend of black, beautiful people? Oh my gosh. Um, so we know, you know, we're going to give you a moment that you are not going to expect. Um, so I'm excited about that moment. And I think part of what we do every year outside of entertainment, because everybody can entertain, right? Uh, but a part of what the BET Awards really, in my mind, personifies is you know, we exist to entertain, but we're also here to change outcomes. And we know that there's a lot happening in our community. And so I'm super excited about some of the things that we're going to announce tomorrow as it relates to, um, you know, just doing the things that our community needs. And so it's going it's gonna to be, it's going to be so many moments, I'm but I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. And I don't know if you guys saw it last night. We took over the Hollywood sign. Um, you know, I literally was in tears wow. driving up to the hills of Hollywood because it's never been done before. Yeah. And to see those black faces dancing across those nine letters, 
Um, you know, when you talk about Hollywood and black Hollywood, you know, it just, I, I had a moment last night. I had a moment last night. So there were, there, it's just, it's going to be a lot of moments. So people have got to tune in. <laughs> we excited. Now, two of the biggest names in music drops, house music albums. Yeah, it, just, it originated in the 80s in Chicago by black people. Okay, so we're bringing it back. What does this mean for our culture? Oh my gosh, so I know Drake said everybody got to catch up. <laughs> but you know what? I like the notion of evolution and transformation. And so I think as a culture, when we start to like evolve and change and grow, I think that only is going to allow us to be better. And guess what? You may, you know, try something that may not work, but that's okay. You tried it, right? Yeah. So I love, I love the spirit of house music and uh, I can't wait. I just, yeah. yeah. I'm looking forward to those surprises, girl. Ah! We're excited. Thank you, Kimberly.